That's a vibe. She want a vibe. That's a vibe. Yeah.
so that y'all can see, but I deleted the other one. So yeah, I'll show y'all that tonight. All right, y'all, so I am back at the house. I just picked up me a little salad from Wendy's. A little grilled chicken salad. And they're simply dressed. This is a Caesar salad dressing. And then their little um, Parmesan crisps. So this is a grilled chicken Caesar salad, y'all. But I wanted to show y'all the stuff that I got from Shein as far as the um, the intimates, the bras, and the panties. Now, each of these were sold separately, but I did kind of match them up to make like a set. So, and you purchase them individually as well. So it's not like they come as a set. I purchased them separately. So let me put this dressing and stuff on my salad and make it up real quick. And then we'll get into the haul. I know this is like a little ghetto fabulous haul of a girl. Sis is hungry. And I'm just gonna kill two birds with one stone, okay? So we're gonna put on these little crisp. And then we're gonna put on the dressing. Oh, I got some bacon bits in there. Do I want to put bacon bits? No. Y'all put bacon bits on Caesar salad? I don't. I just feel like with their Caesar dressing. Now, just a regular salad? Yes. I will put me some bacon bits and all of the things on it. But just not the Caesar. Where's my oven? And I always have to get two dressings. One dressing don't do it for me. That's probably... <laughs> Defeating the purpose of eating a salad, but baby, it don't have to be wet, wet, but I need it to be wet, okay? But not too wet, because y'all, I don't like my lettuce withered, so. So you just put that top back on it. Hold on, let me make sure I got it the right way, because I don't need my salad wasting all over the place. All right, y'all, so let me get this salad prepped. Shake it like a salt shaker. Hold on, I want to flip it. Okay. Here we go. So, I'm wearing one of the bras now, which I'll show y'all that later because I didn't feel like taking all this stuff off. So, the first bra, and I'm going to show you as the sets. Like I said, purchased separately, but... I created a set with them. So this is the first bra. I'm trying to get the salad out the way so y'all won't be distracted. This is the first bra. Wait, is that the right? Okay. And it's just a blue, I guess that's floral bra. And see, y'all see why I couldn't really try these on because they're a lot, they're see-through. So this is the bra, very, very cute. I guess I should have hooked it, but yeah, this is the bra. Now the size I have this one in is a 36F. And like I said, I will put, um, can y'all see that? 36F and I'll put what that's equivalent to on the screen because like I said, I'm usually a 34 triple D or a 36 double D. So I don't know if it's equivalent to 36 double D or 34 triple D. But it fits amazing. Very, very cute and flirty. So this is the bra. And then this is the underwear that goes with the bra. And I like these, y'all, because they're kind of like high-waisted brief underwear. But they have the see-through here at the front. And then the back is completely see-through. And like I said, it's like a high-waisted panty. This is in a size 0XL. So yeah, panty and bra. So that matches perfectly. All right, and so this is the next bra and it's just a white kind of lacy bra. Get into the details, very cute, very sexy. And a lot of these are just sheer. <laughs> and this is the bag. Now it does have this little part 
this and I guess I don't know what that does like I really don't know <laughs> but it has the underwire let me fix it it does have the underwire and everything for a good support but I thought this bra was very 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 cute all right, and these are the underwear that I have to go with this one. They don't match exactly. These are just like the blue ones. <clears throat> these are made more on a bikini style. They're not high-waisted. It's more like a bikini type of underwear. So it has the same type of flowers in the front. And then it is completely sheer in the back. So that's the panty. And then this is the bra. Like I said, they don't match exactly because this has some other type of details and this is more flower or floral, but it's going together. It's a set for me, okay? <laughs> okay, and this is my other set. I love this one so much. So this is, oh, that's, what size is that white bra? This one is in a 38D, okay? So 38D is what I got in this. Fits good. Fits really, really good. This is the next one. I got all these little see-through bras. I guess I couldn't let y'all see them on, but this is the details. So cute. It's yellow, has the thick straps. All of these had a thick strap except for that white one. So I like that, but yeah, so freaking cute. This one is in a size 36E. And again, I'll put the size that I got it in or that it's equivalent to on the screen. So that's the bra. You know, this is the side or whatever. So this is the bra and then this is the underwear. Hold on. <laughs> These are the underwear and they have the same type of print in the front and it's sheer as well. And then the back is completely see-through. They got some sexy stuff, girl. Go get you some, sis. These are in a size extra large. And these are kind of like a high-waisted, too. They're not as bikini, but they may come up a little bit, come up a little higher than a bikini, but not like a full size or a high-waisted panty. So cute, girl. Okay, look. Come on now. Go get y'all this little set. <laughs> it's cute. Go get y'all one, baby, and thank me later, okay? And like I said, I'm a, I'm a, I have a big, heavy boob, so these are good. All right, so let me show y'all the underwear, girl. I don't know why I was getting so much yellow underwear, but look. <laughs> so these are like a yellow bikini style underwear. What size? Extra large. That's what those look like. This is the back of it. Everything I got is sheer, y'all. <laughs> Everything is sheer, honey. She trying to show a little sign, sign for the hoodie. So this is a bikini style. This is another yellow pair, but you guys see how high-waisted it is? So it comes up a little higher. That's the front. This one is X zero XL. And then the back is sheer. So very cute. And then I had a three pack of underwear. So I'm wearing a black pair now. And then it came with this blue pair. And these are a size large. But y'all, these are so freaking soft. Like you don't even feel like you have on anything. Like it's soft. It's very stretchy. Like they're high waisted. They're comfortable. Like you don't even know you have anything on, girl. So cute. And then that's just the back. They're just plain everyday underwear and then it came in this little pink nudie pink color same thing very light very stretchy and just they're very soft very very soft so y'all that's everything that i got like i said i'll show y'all this black bra that i have on but girl i will be ordering some more from the love let collection it's called love let by shein or I don't know if it's by Shein, but it's Love Let Collection. Let me see, does it say anything else on here? Um, no, it just says Love Let Intimates. So that's the name of it. That's the brand, Love Let Collection. So if you just go to Shein and type in Love Let Collection, 
it'll show you all the bras and they're made for big busted ladies okay all right y'all and here's the gown it's just like a black silk gown with the spaghetti uh, straps so this is the gown it's not that long you know just like a little short gown that's the front of it and then this is just the back of it very very cute so yeah got this too and this is a size i think large hmm it's probably a large it ain't got no size of, oh here it is oh extra large and it is also from the love lit collection so go try it girl because i'm definitely gonna order me some more y'all definitely so check them out and i'll see y'all later hey y'all what's going on what is up happy wednesday y'all your girl is up and at them oh i have on my little gown look two paste y'all but this is the little she in gown or whatever excuse the toothpaste but um i just threw some curls in my hair i actually did me a haircut yesterday girl so them little curls quick because i cut the mess out of my hair yesterday so um i just wanted to come on and say hey to y'all i am getting ready to go to my daughter's game well it starts at six and it's just like almost 4 30. um i need to well she needs to let me know if she needs me to bring her food before the game starts that way I can go ahead and take that up there to her. But I'm not doing anything. Just got off of work and curled my hair. I do have on that little e.l.f. makeup. The like filtered look or whatever. But it's looking like it won't rain out the door. So I'm like, please don't rain. Because, yeah, it's looking like it's been a really, really storm. But hopefully it don't. Because y'all know the games are outside. Ooh that light yes ma'am hey girl but anyway yeah y'all know the games are held outside so hopefully it does not rain and we get to like actually enjoy the game so i'm about to just flip on i have like a t-shirt to wear for her cheer team so i'm about to put that on and probably just like some blue jean shorts girl nothing really major just something cute and quick um just to throw on and then I wanted to wear a red lipstick. Their colors are red, like red, white, and blue or something like that. So, yeah, boo. Anyway, I just wanted to come on and say hey to you guys um, and let y'all know what's going on. I may record a little bit at the game, but, you know, child, I'm sitting at the house wasting time, calling myself trying to wait a little bit to go to the game. And I totally forgot I'm on duty to bring water. I signed up to bring the girls water today. So I'm like, let me go and get my ass up out of here. Which I could have took one of our cases of water, but I'm going to see if they have like a little 24 pack or something like that. I'm going to stop at uh, Dollar General. I totally freaking forgot. I don't want to be that mom, girl. They be like, um, my your mama was supposed to bring the water and she ain't buying it. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's supposed to bring snacks but I'm gonna see what they have in here and I'll uh, get them some snacks. Cause I think it's just like 10 girls on the team. So if I can find like a little 10 or 20 cases of water. What did I say, 10, 20, something like that, y'all. Damn, these parking spots is tight AF. All right, y'all, let's run up in this Dollar General real quick. All right, so I got them some water. Okay. I'm sorry, I should have brought it back. 
Thank you, lady. And I got me some gum. Extra, extra. Read all about it. So, let's get on up into this game, girl. But yeah, y'all. Tomorrow is the first, September 1st, girl. And I'm getting on my ish. I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> it's game time, bitches. Because, uh, damn. I've been slipping and tripping. I've been slipping and tripping. I'm going to tell y'all what it is. I'm going to tell y'all right damn now what it is. It's some damn iced coffees from McDonald's. I really can't say the Starbucks because I get the McDonald's drinks way more than I get the Mac uh, McDonald's drink. No, I get the McDonald's drinks way more than I get the Starbucks drink. So... Y'all know that stuff at McDonald's. Don't be nothing but damn sugar, okay? Nothing but freaking sugar. And so today I had my husband give me a coffee this morning. And he used his app and it was just, it came, uh, you got a free large iced coffee. So I got a caramel, caramel iced coffee. Girl, drunk the whole damn thing up. And y'all know McDonald's large is like, let me see. Huge. I drank that whole damn thing of coffee, okay? So tell me, was I wrong or was I wrong? I was wrong. And I'm seeing it right in my midsection. And I'm like, oh no. No. My birthday. Let me see, which way I want to go. Where this I go? This way. It's 5 50. The game started at 6. So. Hopefully they can wait on me. Hopefully they're still out here waiting on me. If not, I just call my daughter and they can come help me. I got stuff on my teeth. They don't like it. Mm, I'm touching all on my teeth and I just finished touching that damn stuff in Dollar Tree. I mean, Dollar General. Let me. Girl, no, you ain't got no business touching your mouth after you've been out in that damn store. Gross. So, yes, let me um, let me get up here and get where I need to go. But we're gonna talk about this, girl. We're gonna we're gonna get this weight off. I need to weigh myself, which I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I'm gonna put me another piece of gum in my period because I know somebody gonna ask for something. But, um, tomorrow I'm gonna do the weigh in. I'm not gonna weigh in with y'all. Do y'all wanna see? Y'all wanna see what your girl weigh? <laughs> y'all wanna see? It ain't none of y'all business. Uh, no. It's okay, but we're gonna get it together. So I'm gonna weigh. I'm gonna weigh myself on camera. I just know that camera gonna add about two, three pounds to you, girl. <laughs> but I'm gonna weigh myself on camera. And tomorrow's gonna be the first day, even though it's, what's tomorrow, Thursday? I don't care, I don't care about a Monday. It's September the 1st. So I've already written down my hair goals, like the goals I want to accomplish my hair for September. And then tonight, once I get back home, I'm gonna write down my like, personal goals, what I want to do for myself personally, YouTube goals, and all of that. So, I feel like September is about to be a good month. I'm claiming it. I believe it. I receive it. It's going to be a good month for September. I'm going to blow my fucking mind in September. I'm telling you that now. So, be ready. Okay. Hey y'all, let me clean off my camera. <laughs> All right, y'all, girl, we just made it home. Oh my gosh. So we went to Lucky's, um, Lucky's Chicken to celebrate my daughter. She made captain. She made captain of her cheer team, of the freshman cheer team. So she's captain, and then one of her friends is, um, co-captain so 
we went out to celebrate her tonight, me, my cousin, and her cousin that's on the same cheer team with her. So, yeah, we just came back from uh, eating. I had me a little drinky drink. It is almost 11 o'clock p.m. So, girl, I'm about to take me a little shower real quick and get my ass in the bed. Can't you see? I'm just being weak. Mm -hmm. I think you know that I care for you. I think you know that I care for you. I do. But sometimes I can't be there for me. Sometimes I can't be there, baby. Can't you see? I'm just being me. Sometimes we just colliding And we keep on fighting But we'll be okay Cause we got unconditional love Sometimes we just crying But we'll keep on trying I know we'll be okay Cause we got unconditional love I don't want to be mad on you No, I don't want to be mad on things you do But sometimes I need what's best for me Sometimes I need what's best Baby, can't you see? Can't be there when you weak No, no, no Yes, I want you to be here for me Of course I want you to be here Don't disappear Sometimes I need you strong for me Sometimes I need you strong when I'm on my knees Oh baby please You know it's there and even if we don't agree You know I care cause baby you and me We meant to be It's you and me Unconditional love You and me Unconditional love Sometimes we just colliding And we keep on fighting But we'll be okay Cause we got 
Unconditional love Sometimes we just cry. I just showed y'all I made my little uh quesadillas or whatever, low carb quesadillas. I think oh I can't remember. Each of those little tortillas that I use, I wanna say they're like five carbs each. So that's like ten carbs for that meal. Plus there was some carbs in the cheese, I'm sure, or whatever, but I'm trying not to go over like fifty carbs a day. And I usually, I would usually do the little app. It's like, um, I think it's called Card Manager. I would do that little app and just like input everything. But girl, oh, I, I'm, I'm not going to do that because I need it to be realistic. And I know realistically, I'm not going to always be going to that app and putting my food in. So I'm not even going to play. But, you know, most mostly the thing is just stay away from processed foods, stay away from chips. Um, you know, stay away from a lot of sugar and, um, basically processed food. So I'm gonna try to just cook my food. If I eat out somewhere, it's going to be like a salad or, you know, something like that. But <clears throat> I'm just trying to really trying to make sure I cook my own food. At least I know what I got in that and how I'm preparing it and all that stuff. So yeah, girl. And then that little juice that I showed y'all in the clip with my food, I got that from Dollar Tree. And it's really good. It's not like, um, I don't know. It's good. I like it. I probably will pick it up again. They had a whole lot of different um, flavors of it. So I may try some more. But yeah, I got that one from Dollar Tree. And yeah, girl, so that's my first meal of the day. I just ate that at 2 o'clock. So I may eat one more meal. And I don't know what that's gonna be yet. What's up, y'all? So I am out of the house, girl. I got to go pick up the girl from school. And then once I get her, I'm gonna head to the uh, shop. Got me a Red Bull, yeah. I got me a Red Bull. I got a sugar free Red Bull. I just came from uh, Dollar General. I had to pick her up something, so. Give me a Red Bull. This is sugar free. <laughs> so my keto. This is sugar free. But y'all, I ain't, I ain't labeling it keto. I told y'all it's keto ish, mostly low carb. But anyway, enough of that. Um, y'all, I still am on my little social media fast, girl. I'm still fasting from that thing. And y'all. I honestly don't miss it. Like, I don't miss it. And let me tell y'all what I don't miss. I don't miss being, I guess, influenced is the word. I guess I don't miss being influenced. Like, you know, when you're strolling, you're seeing all kinds of ish. Just like, because I now, before I did cut off my social media, or disable it or whatever i did unfollow a lot of people and a lot of pages that i was following that i just felt like doesn't align with me like this is just not where i am right now in my life so i just had to get rid of them you know what i'm saying girl he driving like a bat out of hell honey i hope it's important where he gotta go um but yeah stuff that just wasn't filling me up spiritually and just I wasn't vibing and the energy wasn't there with some people and some pages, especially like those blog pages. Like I followed the neighborhood talk. I followed, um, what was it? Hollywood unlocked. I didn't follow, uh, what's the big one everybody be on? You know what I'm talking about? Shit. What's the name of it? Uh, I can't think of it, but anyway, I didn't follow that one, but all of other blogs because Girl, it just be too much, you know, because they don't show you just what's going on locally. Like, you see everything that's going on around the world, whether it be some racist stuff, whether it be some kidnapping, whether it be somebody kill somebody, you know, it just be a lot. And I just feel like when I'm strolling on my social media now, like, I want to see happy things. I want to see positive things. I want to see, you know, stuff that just, like, builds me up. Not clothes all day, not hair. Oh, especially not hair all day. I get sick of seeing hair. Not hair all day, not clothes all day, not makeup all day, not, um, oh, 
<laughs> Girl, did I get in front of the food that was going fast? Oh, Lord, let me get out of his way, child. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit, that's the one that's going super fast. And I got right in front of him.